Furthermore, verses in the Bible explicitly state that Jesus Christ was a prophet of God. Matthew chapter 21, verses 10 and 11 says, When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. Matthew chapter 21, verses 10 and 11. How could prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, be God and God's prophet simultaneously? Did he send himself or part of himself as a prophet to his people? That would not make any logical sense now, would it? The Bible clearly states that God, the Almighty, sent down the separate being known as prophet Jesus, peace be upon him. Acts chapter 2 verse 22 explicitly states, Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which God did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. This verse indicates that Jesus Christ was only a human prophet, a man and not a god. All the prophets and messengers were created human beings with no divine attributes, powers, or qualities of God. They were slaves of God who walked the earth, ate, drank, slept, and lived everyday lives. Everything they did was given to them only from God above to prove they were prophets of God to their people. If you need more proof that Jesus Christ was a man, a prophet of God, Matthew chapter 13 verse 57 states, So they were offended at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his own country and his own house. Matthew chapter 10 verse 41 states, He who receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he who receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. Mark chapter 6 verse 4 states, Jesus said unto them, A prophet is not without honor except in his own town, among his relatives, and in his own home. In addition, Luke chapter 13 verse 33 states, Nevertheless, I must journey today tomorrow and the day following, for it cannot be that a prophet should perish outside of Jerusalem. Let us now examine how those who knew and walked with Jesus Christ acknowledged him. Luke chapter 7 verse 16 states, They were all filled with awe and praised God. A great prophet has appeared among us, they said. God has come to help his people. Luke chapter 24 verse 19 states, What things? he asked. About Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. He was a prophet, powerful in word and deed before God and all the people. Jesus Christ's disciples recognized and acknowledged Jesus Christ as a mighty messenger of God and not as God. The prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, certainly would have corrected his disciples if they were wrong in their beliefs. In John chapter 4, verse 19, it states, Sir, the woman said, I can see that you are a prophet. As you can see, many verses in the Bible indicate Jesus Christ was only a human prophet of God and not divine. Jesus Christ never instructed his disciples, nor anyone else, to worship him or the Holy Ghost. He preached and taught only the worship of the one true God, the creator of all, who goes by the name Allah. In Luke chapter 11, verse 2, the scripture presents Jesus Christ teaching his disciples to worship God the Almighty above. And he said unto them, When ye pray, say, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done as in heaven, so on earth. In John chapter 16 verse 23, Jesus Christ is quoted as preaching to his people that they should ask God the Almighty, 
the only one that has everything and can provide and aid them, in that day you will no longer ask me anything. Very truly, I tell you, my Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. According to the Bible, a man approached and fell on his knees before Jesus Christ and asked him, Good master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus Christ rebuked the person for being called good and stated that only God in the heavens is good. Why callest thou me good? No one is good except God. Mark chapter 10 verse 18. Jesus Christ did not allow even the slightest suggestion that he is divine or semi-divine. He gave all credit to God above. If Jesus Christ was God or the Son of God, why would he say, why call me good? If Jesus Christ were God, he would say he is good because God is all good. Only a man would claim not to be good. This verse goes against the modern teachings of Christianity. Jesus Christ strongly disapproved of others worshipping him. In Matthew chapter 15, verse 9, the Bible quotes Jesus Christ saying, They worship me in vain. Their teachings are merely human rules. The disciples of Jesus Christ worshipped God the Almighty and never worshipped Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 4 verse 24 demonstrates the disciples of Jesus Christ praying to God in the heavens. When they heard this, they raised their voices together in prayer to God. Sovereign Lord, they said, You made the heavens and the earth and the sea and everything in them. They were not praying to Jesus Christ because he was only a human prophet and had no power or control other than what God above had provided him. Many other verses can be quoted, but we shall move on to other topics. Jesus Christ preached the importance of knowing and obeying God the Almighty to be saved and make it to paradise. Failure to learn and worship God the Almighty violates the first and greatest command stated in the Bible, in Mark chapter 12, verses 28 to 30, it says, One of the teachers of the law came and heard them debating. Noticing that Jesus had given them a good answer, he asked him, Of all the commandments, which is the most important? The most important one, answered Jesus, is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The choice of the word one here in Hebrew and Arabic describes a word that cannot have anything added to or subtracted from it. It is a word that describes the absolute unity of God, where no equal or no partner can be added, as Christians mistakenly believe. A similar verse is in the Holy Quran. Say, He is Allah who is one, indivisible. Allah, the sustainer needed by all, He has never had offspring, nor was He born, and there is none comparable to Him. Quran, chapter 112, verse 1. Did God suddenly change His message to humanity? The very basis of the Christian religion makes no sense. The Old Testament clearly states that there is only one God, and no one else should be worshipped. It never mentions or hints at the Trinity. Christians mistakenly believe that God suddenly changed who he is and his message. They believe God is one, but also part of a three-in-one Trinity, joining Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit simultaneously. However, we know that three never equals one, no matter how Christians try to justify such an evil claim.